everybody, welcome back to this week's State Fit Sunday. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to order at a restaurant. And I know it's a very, very tricky subject because they are very, I mean, restaurants can be very sneaky when it comes to their menus. And I just don't understand. If I would open my own restaurant, I would make it so specific and clear. Like if I had a, like under 500 calorie little section in my menu, it would really be under 500 calories and it would be really healthy. The first thing I recommend is to avoid anything that talks about buttery, cheesy, uh, creamy goodness because that just doesn't even make sense right there. Tilapia with lemon buttercream sauce. Like how in the world can that be healthy? You have to really pay attention to all the little wording and the phrases that they use in their descriptions. This is kind of what I do. I find it like a challenge when I do go out to eat. Um, I like a good challenge. So definitely uh, it's kind of easy for me, but I can look through a whole menu and tell you right away if this is gonna be healthy or not. My go-to restaurant is Mexican. I love to get fajitas. To me, they are the cleanest by far. And what I do is that I always order the chicken fajitas or the steak fajitas, or if they give you the option, I usually do both. And I ask for the, you know, black beans. Sometimes I get refried beans. I'm gonna admit that. And for me, there's a couple things in life I don't cut back on, and sour cream is one of them. So, but what I do is I ask for no tortillas because honestly, I can't even eat the whole plate of fajitas. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste the tortillas, and you know, if you're trying to be healthy, you don't really need them anyway. So I just eat, I just eat everything just the way it is, and I just kind of dip it into the sour cream and the guacamole, and I'm a happy camper. If we're at some other place um, and I don't really know the menu, a safe option for me would be a grilled chicken, salmon, tilapia, or um like a steak, and I just ask for a side of steamed veggies. They usually will do it for you. If they say, oh, it comes with another side, I just say, okay, Eric, what would you like? And then he'll usually take my other side. So it's not a big deal. Or I really like to get a Greek salad with chicken breast, and it usually comes with a vinaigrette or a balsamic dressing. So if you don't want the whole side of dressing, you can ask for it on the side. I don't get too nitpicky about it. It's pretty healthy as it is, so that's just me. Now the other thing is to take half of it home. 90% of the time when we're out to eat, you get more than you really can eat anyways. So I will eat half and then I'll take the other half home. I'll have that for lunch, you know, at work the next day or something, you don't have to eat it all. So don't feel forced to, and you will feel better about yourself that you went out to dinner and you didn't stuff your face, you ate half and you were a good girl. Last but not least, do not deprive yourself of going out to dinner with your family and your friends because it can be a big deal. Um, with Eric, it's really, really hard because he loves to go out to dinner and I, I went through that phase with him where I, I never wanted to go anywhere because I didn't want to be tempted to eat anything bad. And it just, you know, you have to have your date nights. You cannot say, oh, I'm not going out to dinner because I don't want to eat bad. So listen, when you go out to dinner, either your dinner is going to be your cheat meal or your dinner is going to be a day where you're going out with your family and friends and then you just, you have to find something good and a healthy alternative. So don't don't stress it it's not the end of the world so I hope this is helpful I know it gets tricky when you go out to lunch and dinner because restaurants can try to trick you but you have to be smarter than the menu so just kind of think of it as a challenge and it can be really fun sometimes so I hope you guys found this helpful don't forget to like subscribe follow me on Instagram where I do post uh, pictures of what I like to Eat, the things I get when I go out to dinner, kind of stuff like that. So all that can help you guys out too. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.